We've received reports that the Orcs are regrouping. Certainly the recent attacks against the internment camps are evidence enough. Agreed. The Horde is on the move. This is absurd. My nation will not stand by and watch as the Horde masses on our very doorstep. The Orcs are not our primary concern here. How many times must I repeat myself? King Terranus, you must heed my warning. This plague that has gripped the Northlands could have dire ramifications. Plague? You wizards are just being paranoid. Let's keep all this in perspective. Even if this plague does pose a threat to us, what are you proposing that we do? It is simple. As I have said, the Kirin Torg are already prepared to place the villages under strict quarantine. I will not institute quarantine without proof of your claims, Ambassador. The people of Lordaeron have suffered enough without becoming prisoners in their own land. Prisoners they are, good king. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Humanity is in peril. The tides of darkness have come again, and the whole world is poised upon the brink of war. Enough of this. Guards, remove this man. Hear me. The only hope for your people is to travel west. Forgotten lands of Kalendor. Are you mad? Old Ambassador. I don't know who you are or what you believe, but this is not the time for rankling prophets. Our lands are beset by conflict, but it shall be we who decide how best to protect our people, not you. Now, be gone! I failed humanity once before not do so again. If you cannot take up this cup, then I shall find another who will. A warning has been given. Their fate is now their own. Hmm. I mean, the whole Medea thing, like, there have been definitely been a couple of people that have been asking about it. Um, like, how is it that Terranus does not know about Medivh? And I don't know if he came back and he just looked differently, or if his appearance, because he was quite uh, seclusive, right? So I don't know. But either way, Terranus is like, nah, 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 nah. I, I don't care what you believe, but I'm not gonna listen to you. Get out. And Medivh's like, okay, my job is done here. I did my best. He should have done more magic at core, to be honest. Showed off a bit more of the um, guardian powers and whatnot. The defense of Schrambrand. Recent orc uprising in southern Lordaeron have forced the alliance to take decisive measures. To contain the orcish threat, King Terranus has sent two of the realm's greatest paladins. That's a bit of a stretch. Arthas was... Nah, whatever. His son, Prince Arthas, and the legendary Oof for the Lightbringer. See, that's better. Legendary. To deal with the orcs, once and for all. Glad you could make it, Ufer. Much your tone with me, boy. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terranus sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. 
They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Strongbrad. Look, Arthas. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. So many civilians to kill. We can we could purge them all. If we really wanted to, we could kill them all. I need to move against the orcs' base immediately. Can you handle Strongbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. Hey. Like, Arthas wasn't bad. Like, Arthas had had some massive training, and compared to Varian, who just seemed to be picking up those things, um, Arthas required a bit more attention. Is there danger? A bit more training. Uh, but he picked it up eventually, so that's a cool. Sound plan. Um, yeah, so the prince, after Good all that training, that. by Murdin, by Ufrich. Of course. The best that money could buy. Our boy Arthas had a lot of love for the people, right? If he didn't do what he did, if if dark forces were not manipulating him, you are past redemption. He definitely had potential to be one of the greatest kings Lord Ron had ever seen. Come. But um, yeah, as we Certainly. know, things wouldn't wouldn't turn out that way. Sad times. Certainly. Sad times. Yeah, he was on a very strict regiment. Because I remember, because I had the whole... <laughs> when I made Arthas' video, I was like, how the hell am I going to show this strict regiment that was going on? So I'm pretty sure that I used the working emote, like the blacksmithing one. And I had him, like, blacksmith Murden and whatnot. I mean, it kind of worked out. A sound plan. Apparently, a lot of people really like listening to the story of the Lich King as, as they go to bed. The light is my strength. I'm here to help. I stand for the light. It isn't easy being the prince. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. Light, guide my path. Light, give me strength. I should be in command. I know what I'm doing. There's no need to bow. Is there danger? Justice shall be done. Huh? Is there danger? It isn't easy being the prince. I wonder if his lines actually change as his story progresses, if they like come, become darker and whatnot. For honor. For now, he just reminds me of a, an older Certainly. Anduin. Oh, of course. Have faith in the light, young hero. Feel my wrath. So, a what it would have changed plan. if Illidan bested Arthas and destroyed the Frozen Throne early, like he planned to? Certainly. Uh, the North Caps would have melted and destroyed large portions of the land. Arthas would have never become the Lich King. Um, and therefore forces like the Forsaken and the Ashbringer, like great heroes as well, would never rise up. Which meant that forces like Yaxaran would eventually have free reign. Can I kill you? For my father, Greetings, the king. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Jared, I ain't your friend, buddy. I ain't your friend. <laughs> oh, hi! Yeet brought to you from the Netherlands. <gasps> oh, Bill, thank you very much for the eight months, baby. Of course. I mean, for honor. He said greetings, friends, but what he clearly said was, oh shit, I ate some wrong for food. Honor. I'm not feeling too great right now. Please, for the love of for little light, king. end it. Those guys as well, get them. A sound plan. Ah. Uh, oh shit. No, not of one course. of your own. You were supposed to hit them, but I, I guess they won't you allow us to kill the children. Greetings, my lord. Stephanie is not a problem, though. Stephanie can just die. They don't care if Stephanie dies or not. Certainly. For honor. Welcome to our village. Hello. <laughs> A sound plan. Yeah. Certainly. Ooh, quest. Of course. We'll fight for Lord Aron. Get your sword. Yeah, see? If those other villagers would not have the been so lazy and just picked up some swords and started to fight for Lordaeron, for you know honor. what would have happened? They would have a stayed alive. <laughs> Certainly. I mean, you can never harm children in these games, this be true. No matter how creepy they actually are. So if I blow up one sheep, do all the other sheep blow up as well? For science. 
No. No, the other two just survive. Living with the eternal torment of what happened to one of their own. Please, you're my only hope. A group of gnolls kidnapped my little Timmy and took him to their hideout in the forest. Hmm. Could you find him and bring him home? I will find your little Timmy. Let's go, man. Of course. Let us be heroes. Dun, 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 dun. Not little... Yes, little Timmy. Oh. Don't worry, little Timmy. Help is on the way. Is that Timmy? Um, for quite a while, people speculated that Timmy from Strapholm is the same as this Timmy, but I believe... And you have to do some Googling to actually confirm it. Get me out of here. I want to go home. I believe I've been disproven. Pretty sure. Oh, thanks so much. I have a reward for you. Oh, baby. Oh, it's a ring of protection, is it? For honor. Hey. Hey! Oh man, they became immune. Yeah, all right. A sound plan. That ring of protection will be useful to us later. Certainly. <laughs> Altrock, you know what's Certainly. up. <laughs> A sound plan. Arthur's Purr is not just the men, but the women and the For children, honor. too. They were undead and he slaughtered them like undead. Betrayer of the light. Arthur's also did it like sand. It's coarse and rough and of it course. gets between everything. A sound plan. Yes, hello. Anybody else in need of some purging today? <gasps> Maybe she'll be unimmune now. Because the quest's been done. Nope. Still invulnerable. Certainly. All right. Are these like the creep? You all, you all know about the of creepy course. kids installment, right? Like the ones that make the satanic symbol every night. Now those are creepy as hell, man. Mm, oh wait. Foul knave. Yeah, make sure. We're just doing some pre-work right now. They show up in the visions too. Are those the same kids? Help! Really? Bandits are stealing our belongings. <laughs> We'll take their coin just like everyone else's. Yeah, no. Those bandits stole my ledger. Without it, I will lose my entire farm. Please, retrieve it from their camp. Yeah, it there's... Um, so much to us. There is in the... Uh, it's, it's a very old Mythos from Warcraft. Or World of Warcraft, of I should course. say. Uh, in Goldshire, there are kids that walk around in a pentagram. And there are a couple of videos up on it on YouTube as well, if you're curious. I believe it's a Diablo reference. Like the Diablo oh, game. And yeah, they're, they're rather creepy. Just standing around plan. and shit. Say your prayers. Oh, hi! Hello there, Doggish Knight. Thank you very much for subscribing. And might I say, what a wonderful year to be born in. Of course. Oh, there. Oh, don't die on me, dude. Certainly. I will keep you alive. There will be no dead footman on my watch. A sound plan. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Ah. Well. Future death knight, I suppose. Then Timmy's mother fled the Fedemora called her new son Timmy. There you go, Bluffy. There it Certainly. is. Certainly. Justice has come. Well, we lost one footman, but we got the you ledger back. Redemption. I mean, life for property. I feel like it was worth it. Justice has come. They come from, you can hear eerie sounds. Foul yep. Nave. I think of from my part of things, it's been covered in like the top 10 creepiest things of Warcraft, I'm pretty sure. But those videos have been going around for quite a while. It's a nice little Easter egg. There was also this video that used to speculate about the spirit healer whispering to you like play world of warcraft the shit like that of course been pretty debunked but you know thank you for helping me please take this item thank you wait don't kill don't kill one of your own guys certainly stop it we kill villagers villagers alone for honor uh blizzard won't rewrite arthas as not a Save villain us. he's escaping 
Um, the already begun. Two arms, my brothers. I mean, I really hope that they'll leave Arthas alone. Like Arthas and the Lich King storyline is one of the better ones that they've done in Warcraft. Going back to it, altering it, changing things. The only thing they can do is fuck it up. And I don't think Arthas needs a he was never evil. I think that's the beauty of Arthas' story. Like, people are having debates about it. Should he have first home? Should he have Certainly. made the choice that he made? It's um, it's a tragic tale and a, a versatile tale. For honor. Which is what I appreciate. See, we just added a couple more civilians that can be added here. And then later, we'll come a back here plan. and we'll resurrect them. Yeah, BlizzCon has been cancelled. Yeah, everybody saw it coming in. It. Certainly. Yeah, everybody knew it was coming. Wow. You Feel just rode over all those civilians. Can you teach me these powers? Can you teach me how I can kill them as well? A sound plan. I think we only kill Thunderan for the weapon, although there might have been a part about Thunderan being pissed off to be stuck in that amulet for so long. For honor. But I think it was mainly for getting the weapon. Like, it was Certainly. classic lore after all. Uh we'll do Krauts. Of course. We'll do. And yeah, take it easy, buddy. No rush and all that. Like Monday's Monday's thumbnail's been done. So we can plan. chill. Uh what do you think about Sylvanas doing the thing? Certainly. I think that is going to lead us into the next expansion. And Go what it all her. means Attack! for future storytelling, we're gonna find out in the expansion help. itself. Yo, can you all let Arthas... I don't know. Let Arthas get his swing in as well. A sound plan. Instead of just being the healing backup bitch. Uh, I guess this is what you get when you stack your raid team of melee. All of a sudden, there's no more room. What item do of you course. think in-game they'll sell for 50 bucks this year? A sound plan. Um, I don't know. All these wretches off with the rest of them. Move them out. Wait, we can still save them. Of course. Let's go. Certainly. Kill these Blackrock orcs. Of course. That's what you get when you use the healer pants. I mean, just go for, uh, oh god, what was it? What did Leroy want again? Was it shoulder pads from UBRS? Something in that vein. Not enough mana. I mean, I could pop a mana potion, I suppose. But would it really be worth it? Nah, quest is over. It's fine. The devout shoulders. E. And you, yes, Prince President. Arthas. Let's do that. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. No, we won't. Don't lie. Lord, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. Hmm. Did they originally have that creepy ass kid voice as well? I don't remember, but that definitely stands out. <laughs>